Okay, y'all, we're back out in the garden again. Sorry for the abrupt stop of the first one, but it doesn't tell me when it's going to be done. So we're out here. This is the comfrey. I was going to show you the bumblebees out here in it. Um, I'll show you in a second, I guess. Let me back up. So we have this huge comfrey plant in this old wheelbarrow. Um, it produces a lot of comfrey. The bumblebees love it. Uh, let's see if we can show you a few of the bumblebees, maybe. There you go. There's one of the bumblebees. They're all in it. It's just hard to get them where they're not flying out. But anyway, they keep it pollinated. They keep a lot of stuff pollinated. So let me show you here. This side, we don't weed this at all. There's a reason we don't weed this at all. Um, this particular line in the garden we have left for um, animals to hide in. Uh, the garter snakes love to hide over here, but rabbits and um, birds and things like that, we have planted this side for them. So we leave it where they have coverage, where they can hide from the elements, and they love it. They haven't really bothered the plants. Uh, in fact, they're growing like crazy here. So we have a lot of sunflowers put in here. This is a Boston pickler and it has some babies on it started uh, i can't find it right now i found it a minute ago because i was going to show you but anyway there are babies started on it and it's growing it's going to go on and grow up this fence and it'll be awesome coverage for the animals this is another boston pickler right here It's got a lot of blooms on it. I was going to try to find it, the babies again, but anyway. So anyway, this is a Boston Pickler. There is a bunch of different varieties. Not the things that look like corn, that's just weeds, but look in here. Uh, that's a sunflower that will rise above these weeds in a little bit. Um, more sunflowers. These sunflowers over here are probably six different varieties. So this will be a load of color when they all grow. This is zucchini in here. It's growing with the sunflower. Um, they both like a lot of water and they are good companion plants. So we planted those all together. Some of these will be very giant sunflowers. I think these two are the mammoth, maybe. Um, we have Autumn Beauty or something like that in here. All the sunflowers are also Baker Creek. So they grew amazingly from the seed. We just threw the seed out and they grew. Like I say, all we are leaving all of the brush, foliage, weeds, whatever for the animals to hide in uh, because we need to get along right that's how things grow look here I will show you something growing oops if I don't get myself well I'm trying to show you there's a zucchini there's actually two on the plant right now another one okay anyway more sunflowers uh -oh, let me show you what else this is a fig tree started it from a baby um, it's actually a memorial tree for my father he passed away in October uh, 2019 and so he loved the figs and we honor him with that uh, the things he loves instead of crying and being upset every day we come out and see the beauty in the tree that has life here's a better shot of the rabbits in their hutch 
this is in the fence part he said hello this morning how are you he always comes the other one went and hid in its cage it's camera shy but as I said we keep them for their poop it's gold oh look he said he wanted to be on the camera now too I don't know if they're he or she it doesn't matter we have them separated and for their poop it'll go in the garden in a little bit makes it grow like crazy so we'll go over here this is another cattle panel this has raspberry bushes growing they'll trellis over the top of it uh, the area under it we're gonna till back up and zinnias will go all under here another raspberry so then let me back up a little bit so you could see um, the garage next door and all the four-wheelers belong to our neighbor he has a shop there he does small engine repair so that's what all the madness there is but we have the whole property is only one quarter acre so where you say I cannot plant because I don't have any property you can plant every inch of it this is a small raised bed that has the Pontiac red potatoes in it um, they're not growing as fast as the Yukon Golds but we're gonna see how that turns out we just plant them and let them go what grows in there with them grows in there with them um, after they're done we'll weed it all out and them in the soil and then we'll make cold frames out of this we'll get all the weeds down behind it put cold frames in and be ready for the fall again after when the fall starts again we will leave all the weeds around it for animals to hide in this part of the yard that's how we do okay these over here are the experiment carrots we've never grown carrots before um, this is just an old barbecue pit let me show you here uh, this is the top half of it uh, my husband just undid it and made a planter box out of it then the other side is what the toothache plants are in but these are cosmic carrots and we'll see how they grow see what they look like we'll pull them in a few weeks let the rabbits have a little snack we'll do a test pull see how they are uh, those are the calendula that I showed you in the first video they're also in a raised box they'll be going in oils and things like that we come over here there's roses we just do the chop and drop method here when I do prune anything back um, we give it back to Mother Earth it goes back into the soil so these are dahlias in here they're Arabian night dahlias um, they're getting ready to put a flower on it so we'll come back in a little bit when they start to flower and see what they look like then these are my lilies here um, we do a lot of healing through gardening we have a granddaughter who um, we don't get to see because you know things happen with parents and I don't know where she is at the moment um, they have moved and whatever so we hold vigil for her and um, this plant is for her we grow it that's a healing um, thing for us anyway on with that so if you're feeling depressed sad um, unmotivated or whatever get out in the garden and let it heal you so then these are knockout roses here